America has 18 more months of election awesomeness yet to look forward to, but in Britain, the ballots are all counted. So I went across the pond to see how they rocked the vote. Here we go. Democracy in the UK. Jordan Klepper reports on the road to the... Wait, that's where the Prime Minister lives? The British people have just endured one of the longest election seasons in their history. It's overblown, in my opinion. It's just gone on and on and on. In fact, I've stopped listening to the radio since uh, it all began. I sat down with election expert Katie Ghosh, who must be exhausted from the years of non-stop campaigning. Well, the formal campaign kicked off at the end of March. What? Our campaign period lasts for just six weeks. Six weeks of election? That's right. How do you spend $5 billion in six weeks? Well, nobody would ever be allowed to spend $5 billion. I think that British people would be horrified by the sheer sums and the length of time over which money is spent on elections in America. Horrified means good here, right? Like, it's sick, it's terrible, like, like it's dope. No, that's bad. We have quite strict regulations on spending here. Each party will have a total spending limit of around £30 million. Per week? for the formal campaign period. Seriously? That's only like $50 million, or about 1 50th the amount a single American candidate might spend. How on earth do you run a campaign with bull money? Liberal Democrat parliamentary candidate Majid Nawaz. We're looking for votes, not money. So what we do is, through years and years of campaign... Wait, say, say again. We're looking for votes, not money. Listen, my total campaign, I'm raising £5,000. And £5,000 goes just as far as you'd expect. I'm Robert, I'm Majid's campaign organiser. The campaign organiser? Yeah. You mean your dad's the campaign organiser? No, I am. Y you're running a campaign? Yeah, well, with the help of the local party, yeah. Do you mind if I ask how old you are? I'm 23. You're 23? But I'm a candidate myself as well for a adjacent seats. You're a candidate for a moustache in the next four years. But my contact details were on the back. This lack of resources was heartbreaking. Whoa, 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 not a keeper. Money's tight. Thank you. Luckily, in America, we have a little thing called freedom. Thanks to the Supreme Court's ruling on Citizens United, money is considered speech and is free to express itself using thought-provoking political advertising like these actual ads. I'm going to use my Glock to blow your balls off. But believe it or not, political TV ads are banned in the UK, so the parties must use another way to take down their opponents. Uh, billboards are allowed in the UK, so that's really where you're going to see the negative ads. Let me get this straight. They're going to attack their political foes in the same medium you'd use to advertise share at the Hilton? The one that's really caught people's attention this time round was one portraying the leader of the Labour Party, Ed Miliband, in the pocket of Alex Salmond, who's the leader of a smaller party, the Scottish National Party. And? It's, it's showing one politician in the pocket of another. What's negative about that? And they felt that that was a really negative thing so to no do. So no one's sucking off Hitler in this situation? Well, I think what people want... I mean, you basically want... had a prime minister who did that, am I right? Neville Chamberlain slam. <laughs> Uh, we would never have anything uh, uh, of that kind of nature. I think our... God, it's like these people didn't even hear me. Damn it! In fact, no one was listening. But I knew the best place to talk about things that no one wants to hear is on cable TV. So I walked through the hallowed halls of BBC International to knock some sense into the British public. What are you making of it all? I gotta tell you, you guys are messing it all up. You right. need some American-style politics in your British-style whatever you call it. So what would you inject to improve what we've got? Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Or I think you call them pounds or right. coins. You need money. Right, but what about the fact that there is a possibility that Ed Miliband, the leader of the opposition... What? They didn't want to yell or fight or make it interesting at all. F the BBC. I was going to get this message out using the biggest, most extravagant platform legally allowed in Britain. We shall overcome. We being the money. You guys considered letting money speak in your election? Huh? It's an important thing to pay attention to. Let buddy talk! Let's fight you, one! Thank you! Change was a coming.